Did yeah. You, did, did you actually have a bass? No. Was a guitar on bass? Oh, no, no, I found one, but, right. you know, then I played lead on bass for six months until the drummer said, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> 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 you know, the bass plays down the bottom. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was bass, played by bass by default as well. The first band, when I was 14. Yeah. Um, the bass player was such a better guitar player than me. I said, this is stupid. So we got rid of the drummer because he was crap. And we got yeah. this other guy who was a mate, but he was all right. Yeah, yeah. And so Nick and I swapped. I well, I was by, by default because I was playing guitar and then, and then um, the, the mates I had a gig at the Antler Hotel three nights yeah. a week and I had a bass player. Yeah. Okay. So, oh yeah. I know. I know a kid that I've just sort of helped out a bit, helping buy a bass. Yeah, just you know, one of the guys to play bass. Mm. Strange boy. Yeah. <laughs> so, some people like that, eh? It's a PA sitting behind a drummer. Yeah. 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 You know, it's like yeah, the foot of death. Isn't it? You know, I like that. It just yeah. you, you stuck in and you go, oh, hang on a minute, this feels right. Yeah. Whereas the guitar never felt, kind of felt right to me. Mm. Not that I knew it, but then you go, hey, mm. it's working. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, what mm. was the last great bass line that you heard of something contemporary? Mm. Did we notice? That's the last one I heard, man. Yeah, that's the last one I heard. What since then? Just the note, you know, the note, the off the root note that yeah, can right. just change the whole mm. yeah. spectrum of the song. God, it's nice when you find one of those. Yeah, mm. it's beautiful. Yeah. And where you play it, whether it's on the E string or the, or the A string, yeah. you know, yeah. kind of there's little right. hot spots on the. In the mid '90s, I developed a phobia about being a fucking bass player in a fucking stupid band, <laughs> and so we we had to record an album with Todd Rundgren, and I I sick. Mm. Having to record. So the night before, I, with each track, I'd go into the studio and program it up on the Fairlight. The band would come in and record it the next day. Okay. Bass phobia. Bass mm. phobia. And then I, I got over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. No, actually, I didn't play. I did soundtrack work for 10 years, but then after that. So do you find coming back to it after that time, it, it's fresh? I love it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You, never, you never know until you walked in a man's shoes. I mean, your <laughs> bass parts are incredible. They're just so great. Such great rock bass playing. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, yeah, no, just sort of. Really clever writing. Yeah. <laughs> I really wanted to play golf professionally, but I thought just play bass. <laughs> you know? so. In, on, loud, quiet, bass, treble, mid, this one. GK 800s. Mm -hmm. Gallon, there's old grey, little grey, Gallon. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, ran, I ran SVT2s and big 8x10 like for years, and I could never get the sound from that like I got in the studio from that. I start to think about the crazy things they do and the eccentric natures of them. Mm. Mm. I personally don't care about what I'm playing, like on the on the instrument. It's the overall sound. Yeah. I'm happy as playing a, a beautiful melody, just playing a straight eight or whatever it needs to be done. I don't care what how clever my part is. It's just being part of that yeah. one thing, the song. You know. Big picture. Yeah. 